Hello, everybody. It's Storytime with Teacher Gabe, and today we are reading Tough Chicks by C.C. Mang and illustrated by Melissa Subert. Tough Chicks. Oh, I'm going to have to make these a little bigger. One second. Here we go. From the moment Mama Hen's eggs burst open, she knew she was dealing with some pretty tough chicks. Penny, Polly, and Molly shook out their wet fluff and immediately began to strut around the farm. Welcome to story time, Noah. We're reading Tough Chicks right now. They wrestled with worms. They raced the bugs. They dove off the fence after the pesky barn flies. Make them, go make them be good, clucked the, the other hens in the hen house. Mama hen ruffled her feathers. They are good, she replied, though at times the chicks did make trouble. Let's see, peep, peep, zoom, zip, cheep. Oh my, they're going so fast. Penny liked to grab the cow's tail to hitch a ride. Polly was found Polly was fond of ro rooster roping, and Molly was partial to mud, lots of mud. She loved a good roll in the pig pen. Make them be good, called the animals. They are good, Mama Hen clucked, but sometimes even she worried. Like the time Farmer Fred found the chicks looking under the hood of his tractor. We didn't touch anything. We just wanted to see how it worked, peeped Penny, Polly, and Molly. Make them be good, grumbled the farmer. Chicks don't belong in tractors. Mama Hen looked at the other chicks. Some were preening their, fe their first feathers under the morning sun. Others were quietly pecking grain from the hen house floor. Two were hiding under their mama's wing, afraid to come out. My chicks are different, all right, thought Mama Hen, but they're tough and they're smart and they're different in a good way. Peep, peep, zoom, zip, cheep. They definitely are different than the other chicks. Watch out below, Penny hollered as she swung off the cow's tail and into the yard. The other chicks ran for cover. Careful, Mama Hen called to Penny. Nice form, she added quietly. The hens in the hen house decided it was time to teach Penny, Polly, and Molly how to behave like proper chickens. They tried to show the chicks the fine art of scratching for grain. Not a peck of grain was found. Oh, and they dug a big old hole. The rooster tried showing the chicks how to, ch how to cluck in a calm and collected manner. Not a proper chuck was heard. Cluck, not a proper cluck was heard. The pigs even demonstrated how to make a nest. Not a single nest was built. Oh, they just made mud forms. They made the farmer. When Farmer Fred found the chicks looking under the hood of his tractor again, it was the last straw. He leaned forward and fixed the chicks with a stern eye. You're a little fuzz you are little fuzzy headed chicks. Be cute, be quiet, and be good, and stay away from my tractor. I have hate a move before the rain comes. The chick the chicks watched from the yard as Farmer Fred drove his tractor around the field gathering the hay. But on his way back to the barn, the tractor spit out a puff of black smoke, gave a loud clunk, then a long screech and came to a sudden stop. Farmer Fred looked under the hood. He looked up at the dark clouds. He looked worried. Then he walked to the back of the tractor and gave it a mighty push. The tractor began to roll. Faster and faster, it rolled down the hill. It was heading straight for the hen house. Bad idea, bleated the sheep. Move, bellowed the cow. What are we going to do, crowed the rooster. While the rest of the animals ran for safety, Penny, Polly, and Molly sprang into action. Peep, peep, zoom, zip, cheep. They swung off the cow's tail and onto the tractor steering wheel, turning the tractor in the nick of time. The hen house was saved, but the tractor came to a stop, smack in the middle of the pig's favorite mud hole. Mama hen rolled her, rolled rounded up her chicks. It, I think it's time we showed these animals how good it is to have tough, smart chicks around. 
the chicks quickly scratched out a plan, and the animals went to work. Under the hood of the tractor, the chicks tightened the belts, checked the fluids, and patched a few holes with Molly's super strong mud fixture. When they were done, Farmer Fred started his tractor, and it worked. The animals cheered. Those are some tough chicks, the animals said. I know, said Mama Hen. Farmer Fred stopped his tractor. Those are some smart chicks, he said. I know, said Mama Hen. She turned to Penny, Polly, and Molly, and gave them each a peck on the cheek. These are some good chicks, said Mama Hen. We know, said Penny, Polly, and Molly. All right, and that was Tough Chicks. Next, we have The Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown, by Charles M. Schultz. Let's see, it's The Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. We got another one of those great holidays coming up where boys have the opportunity to give presents to pretty girls. You know, big baskets of candy and eggs and all sorts of things. It's a great time of year for getting. It's not a time for getting, it's a time for renewal, the start of spring. You're wrong, it's the time, it's gift getting season. What's the matter with you? All you can think about is gimme, 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 get, get, get. That's called survival. I don't know if she's right about that one. I have to make this page a little bigger though. Let's see. Great, I'll show you how to color eggs. Marcy, you get the eggs. Let's see, hang on, I think it's a little bigger. Marcy, you get the eggs ready and I'll mix up all the colors and stop calling me sir. All the eggs are fried sir. Now we just have to color them. Oh no! You're not supposed to fry the eggs. It's almost Easter and I have nothing to wear. Look at these shoes. How can I celebrate Easter properly in these shoes? Hi, we're on our way to the store and we're getting ready for Easter. You know, we need Easter baskets, eggs, candy, the works. Do you want to join us? It's a waste of time. The Easter Beagle does all that. On Easter Sunday, the Easter Beagle passes colored eggs to all good little kids. Oh, Linus, you drive me crazy. The Easter Beagle? Are you sure, Linus? Come on, Sally. I thought you wanted to get some new shoes. Hi, Chuck. What are you up to? Marcy and I are here to get some eggs to color for Easter. I told you it's a waste of time to buy and color eggs because the Easter Beagle will do all that. Hey Chuck, what's all this about the Easter Beagle? Have, has your friend here got all his marbles? He did say Beagle, didn't he? Well, yes. Come on Chuck, let's go in and buy some eggs. Easter Beagle indeed. It's Easter and they already have Christmas decorations up. Oh my, good grief, I can't believe it. I told you it's gift getting season. Aren't those shoes a little high for you, Sally? Maybe, but I like them that way. Every Easter, the Easter Beagle comes, during, comes dancing along with his basket full of eggs, which he hands out to all go good little children. That sounds faintly familiar. I remember sitting out in a stupid pumpkin patch all night waiting for the great pumpkin to come, and he never did. That was the worst night of my life. This is different. That was Halloween. This is Easter. Well, I don't know. I really want to believe you because I like you and I really respect you, but I don't I just don't know. The Easter Beagle will never let you down. I know he won't, but what about you? This time, Marcy didn't fry the eggs. Oh, this time, Marcy, don't fry the eggs. I won't, sir. Oh, no, she's put them in the oven. Hi, Peppermint Patty. Hi, Marcy. Where are you two going in such a hurry? We keep running out of eggs. I'm trying to show Marcy here how to color eggs for Easter Sunday. You're making a mistake. All this is a waste of time. The Easter Beagle will take care of it all. Sure, on Easter Sunday, the Easter Beagle brings eggs to all the little children. 
Sir, is he right? Perhaps we don't have to go to all the trouble of making some colored eggs if the Easter Beagle is going to do it. Look, I'm having enough trouble without you, without your crazy stories. Come on, Marcy, let's go get another dozen eggs. It's a waste of time. Now look, kid, these eggs are not to be fried, roasted, toasted, or waffled. These eggs gotta be boiled. You boil them and I'll show you how to paint them. Yes, sir, I'll boil them, then you paint them. Oh no, she's cracking the eggs into the hot water. They look done, sir. Do you want to look at them? Okay, Marcy, let me look. That's funny, it smells like soup. Marcy, you've made egg soup. Ah. Chuck, I don't know what to do. We've ruined three dozen eggs and we don't have any colored yet. I've run out of money and can't, and can't buy any more eggs. How am I going to teach my friend here about Easter and coloring eggs when I can't get any more eggs to color? Don't worry a thing about it. The Easter beagle will come and you'll, and you'll see. He'll bring Easter eggs to all the little kids. Kid, I hope you're right. I don't, I don't want my friend here disappointed. She won't be. On Easter Sunday, the Easter Beagle will bring will brighten everyone's day. Everyone will be filled with great warmth and friendship. You're not coloring Easter eggs, Lucy, are you? You're wasting time. The Easter Beagle does all that. Leave me alone. Don't bother me with your stupid ideas. Easter is very simple. You paint the eggs, you hide the eggs, and you find the eggs. You know who's going to find these eggs? Me, because I'm the only one who's going to hide them. Oh my, that's quite the plan she has. Oh, she's putting eggs down, and it looks like Snoopy's sneaking them away. Well, Marcy, I'm really sorry. Here it is Easter, and we don't have any colored eggs. I'm the one who's sorry, sir. I guess I'm not much of a cook. I've seen this happen on holidays before. You look forward to being really happy, and then something happens and spoils it all. You've done it again, haven't you? I've been waiting here since dawn, waiting for the Easter Beagle. I never learn. Why do I always listen to you? Trust me, you said. Trust me, trust me. Now I've been burned again. Look, he's coming, he's coming. Easter Beagle is coming. I told you he'd come. Oh, and here comes Snoopy handing out eggs. Thank you, Easter Beagle, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Oh, and he ran out of eggs when he got to Charlie Brown. He didn't give anything to Charlie Brown. See, Linus was right. There is an Easter Beagle. Some Easter Beagle, he gave me my own egg. What do you do with the Easter eggs now that you, now that you have them, sir? We eat them. We put a little salt on them and we eat them. Oh my, she didn't take the shell off before eating it. It tastes terrible, sir. It probably does with all the paint on that shell. Still moping, I can't believe it. That was almost 10 weeks ago. I can't help, I can't help it. I'll never get over it, never. Why don't you go over, why don't you go and talk, o talk it over or something? I guess I will. All right, Beagle, come down from that house and we'll have it out. We'll hash it out. Come on, Beagle, put up your dukes. Oh, he tried not to fight her. All right, and that was the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. All right, and that was all the stories I have for today. Thank you guys for reading with me. I hope you guys, never mind, I have one more book. I have, let's see, where are the eggs? It's an egg hunt. Let's see, let me, let me move the camera down so it's easier to see. All right, let's see here. And I think these are in your packet, so if you wanna go and grab them from your packets and do this book with me, go. Uh, feel free to do that. I'll, I'll give you guys a couple minutes to go grab it. Are you ready to do some some egg hunting, Mr. Noah and Mr. Michael, are you both ready to do some egg hunting?
You ready to go, Mr. Noah? All right, here we go. Let's start. All right, where are the eggs? Let's see, is this in the camera? Yes, okay, perfect. All right. Can you help the bunny find the eggs? Let's see here. Let's see if we can find an egg. Oh, here, the bunny found the egg. Let's see if we can get this in the camera. There we go. Where is the egg? Where is the egg? Is it in the basket? Let's see if we can find an egg in a basket. Here we go. I don't know if you guys can see this one. All right, we'll put the egg in the basket right there. Let's see, where are we gonna look next for some eggs? Where is the egg? Is it behind the flower? Let's see, let's see if we can find an egg behind a flower pot. Oh, there is it. Let's see. All right, we'll put that one right there. Where's this egg? Is it next to the tree? Let's see, do you guys see an egg next to a tree? Oh, I think I see one. All right, where are we looking next? Where's the next egg? It is under the bush. Let's see if we can find our egg under the bush. There it is. All right, there's our egg under the bush. Let's see, where's the next egg? It is between the rocks. Let's see here. Most of our stuff has been behind green stuff. So let's see if we can find the rocks. Oh, there's mine. All right, we'll put the egg right there. All right. And then where's the last egg? It is on the bridge. There's the egg on the bridge. Let's see, and then where is the last, the very last egg? Where is the egg? It is in front of the bunny. Oh, and then here's our bunny waving goodbye. Thank you guys for helping me find all the eggs for our Easter hunt. Let's see, were you, guys, were you able to find all the eggs, Noah? I had a little trouble finding some of them. All right, and then that's all our books for today. Thank you guys for reading with me. I hope you guys have a good day.